Iifithas, C. Iifithas, the 20th of May 1845 1914, was a prominent Tamil activist and anti caste activist and a practitioner of Siddha medicine. He famously converted to Buddhism and called upon the Periyars to do the same, arguing that this was their original religion. He also founded the Panchmar Mahajana Sadha in 1891 along with Ratamalai Srinivasan. Panchamas are the one who does not come under Varna system. They are called as a Varnas. Iyathas is the most common anglicized spelling of his name. Other spellings include Pandit C A Odhaya Dasa, C I I V Dos, C I I Odhi Dos, C I I V Thos, K A Titakar, Avarka, or K A Titasa, Peter Avarka. Early life. Iyathas possessed deep knowledge in Tamas, Siddha medicine and philosophy, and literary knowledge in languages such as English, Sanskrit and Pali. Iyathas was born Kathavarian on the 20th of May 1845 in Chennai's Thousand Lights area, and later migrated to Niljaris district colon 9 his family followed Vaishnavism, in basis of that he named his children Madhavaram, Patadhiraman, Janaki. Raman and Rasaram. His grandfather worked for George Harrington in Uti and Little Kathavarian profited immensely from this association. Assumption of leadership of scheduled caste. In the 1870s, Iyathas organized the Todas and other tribes of the Niljari Hills into a formidable force. In 1876, Thas established the Advaitananda Sabha and launched a magazine called Dravida Pandian in collaboration with Reverend John Rathinam. In 1886, Thas issued a revolutionary declaration that scheduled caste peoples were not Hindus. Following this declaration, he established the Dravida Mahajana Sabha in 1891. During the 1891 census, he urged scheduled caste people to register themselves as casteless Dravidians instead of identifying themselves as Hindus. His activities were inspiration to SRI Lanka's Buddhist revivalist Anagarika Dharmapala. Conversion to Buddhism, Iyathas met Colonel H. S. Olcott with his followers and expressed a sincere desire to convert to Buddhism. According to Thas, the Periyars of Tamilakam were originally Buddhists and owned the land which had later been robbed from them by Aryan invaders 9-10 with Olcott's help. Thas was able to visit Ceylon and obtain diksha from the Sinhalese Buddhist monk Bhikkhu Sumangala Naik. On returning, Thas established the Sakaya Buddhist Society in Madras with branches all over South India. The Sakaya Buddhist Society was also known as the Indian Buddhist Association and was established in the year 1898. Political activism and later life On 19 June 1907, Iyavi Thas launched a Tamil newspaper called Oru Pesa Tamizhan or One Pais Tamilian. In his later days, he was a vehement criticizer of Brahmins. Iyathas died in 1914 at the age of 69. Legacy Iyathas remains the first recognized anti casteist leader of the Madras presidency. In many ways, Periyar, Dravidar Kazhagam, and Dr. Ambedkar are inheritors of his legacy. He was also the first notable scheduled caste leader to embrace Buddhism. However, Iyathas was largely forgotten until recent times when the Dalit Sahitya Academy, a publishing house owned by Dalit Ishilmali, published his writings. Ishilmali, then the Union Health Minister, also made a desire to name the planned National Centre for Siddha Research after the leader. However, the proposal did not come into effect until 2005, when vehement protests by Sir Ku. Tamil Arizon of the Republican Party of India, RPI, forced the government to take serious note of the matter. The Institute for Siddha Research, National Institute of Siddha, was subsequently inaugurated by Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and Dr. Anbumani Ramadas the then Union Health Minister on 3 September 2005 and named it after the anti-caste Buddhist leader. At its inauguration, the hospital had 120 beds. The patients were treated as per the traditional system of Siddha medicine. A commemorative postage stamp on him was issued on 21 October 2005. 
His works are nationalized and Salatium was given to their legal heirs in 2008. Criticism In the early part of the 20th century, he indulged in vehement condemnation of the Swadeshi movement and the nationalist press remarking that he could locate the power of the modern secular Brahmin in the control he wielded over public opinion. Please subscribe Wiki Audio YouTube page below and click notification icon to get future videos. Check out channel page to get more videos.